because she wanted to put up a picture of him getting his pants pulled down. Was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. Wendy Williams has been waiting for this moment for decades. Seeing Diddy Combs, hip hop icon, media mogul, and one of the most powerful figures in the music industry, has finally found himself in the music industry, has finally found himself in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. With headlines exploding about his recent arrest, many are watching closely. But one person in particular is quietly celebrating. Wendy, who has a long and complicated history with Diddy, is reportedly thrilled to see justice catching up to the man she's long accused of ruining her career. I have uh, information that he was arrested tonight at a Manhattan hotel. He is currently being processed. I heard from his attorney they are still maintaining his innocence. They said that in anticipation of these charges that Diddy relocated to New York last week. Let's dive into the juicy details, starting with Diddy's recent arrest. The drama unfolded in the heart of Manhattan when federal agents swooped in, arresting Diddy on a slew of serious charges. It wasn't just a random knock on the door. This was a well-coordinated operation that came after months of speculation and investigation. Diddy had been under scrutiny for quite some time, with authorities piecing together accusations that painted him as more than just a controversial figure. The Southern District of New York had been keeping their cards close to their chest, but once the sealed indictment was unwrapped, the world knew Diddy was in real trouble. His arrest comes after years of allegations piling up against him. Well, Diddy's team, led by attorney Mark Agnifilo, has been vocal in defending him, calling the arrest unjust. It's clear that the situation is far from a minor hiccup. Agnifilo pointed out that Diddy had voluntarily relocated to New York, ready to face the charges head on. He painted a picture of a man eager to clear his name in court, but let's not forget, this is Diddy we're talking about. So Diddy, if you're just joining us here, was just arrested and taken into federal custody in New York tonight. Sources tell TMZ Homeland Security swooped into a Midtown hotel late Monday where Diddy was staying and they arrested him. His empire, which spans music, fashion, and even liquor brands, is now crumbling under the weight of these accusations. And while his lawyer tries to spin the narrative, others see it differently. Enter Wendy Williams. She's been sitting back, watching all this unfold with what can only be described as a smirk. For those not in the know, Wendy has every reason to feel vindicated right now. Years ago, she was one of the first to speak out against Diddy, warning the world that something wasn't quite right with him. But instead of being applauded for her honesty, she was blackballed from the industry, forced to rebuild her career from the ground up. I've seen him do it before. I've seen him even tell people on the phone before, like, yo, like he did Wendy Williams. The Wendy and Diddy feud goes way back, almost like a storyline straight out of a dramatic soap opera. It all started in the 1990s when Wendy, then a rising star in the radio world, dared to talk about some rumors swirling around Diddy. She didn't hold back, making bold claims about his personal life and his behavior behind the scenes. At the time, Diddy was on top of the world, a music mogul with the golden touch. He wasn't just influential, he was untouchable. And he didn't take kindly to Wendy's commentary. This is Wendy Williams, the hottest radio host in New York City. In retaliation, Diddy allegedly used his immense power to destroy Wendy's career. According to Wendy, it wasn't just a simple falling out between two celebrities. She claims that Diddy went out of his way to get her fired from her radio gig at Hot 97. Imagine being at the top of your game with a rising profile and a growing fan base only to have it all snatched away overnight. That's exactly what happened to Wendy. Diddy's influence was so strong that it seemed like everyone in the industry turned their back on her. When I get back to New York City, if she's on the radio station, He's talking to a radio executive. Wendy has always been candid about how much this feud cost her. She didn't just lose a job, she lost her entire platform. For years, she had to rebuild her career, clawing her way back to the top with her now iconic talk show. But even as she became one of the most recognizable faces on daytime television, she never forgot how Diddy tried to erase her. She warned people back then that Diddy wasn't the golden boy everyone thought he was, but no one wanted to listen. At that time, Diddy had the Midas touch and no one wanted to risk falling out of his favor. You know, what's worse, you know, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood that, you know, and, and denial of something that. Wendy wasn't just sitting on the sidelines throwing shade. Though, she had real stories and encounters that made her wary of Diddy. She talked about how he wielded his power to intimidate and silence those who dared to cross him. In one particularly chilling incident, she recalled how Diddy allegedly threatened her, going as far as making violent, life-threatening statements. These weren't just empty words, either. Wendy believed that Diddy had the clout to make good on his threats, which only deepened her resolve to stay far away from him while continuing to call him out. 
For years, Diddy brushed off the rumors and accusations, his larger-than-life persona shielding him from the fallout. He was, after all, one of the most influential figures in hip-hop, producing hits and launching the careers of countless stars. But Wendy saw through the facade. The first woman to uncover the homo thugs. She kept warning people, dropping hints here and there on her show, subtly reminding her audience that Diddy wasn't as squeaky clean as he wanted the world to believe. Every time she mentioned him, you could sense the tension in her voice, the bitterness of someone who had been wronged but was patiently waiting for her moment of vindication. And now, that moment has finally come, with Diddy behind bars facing serious charges that could land him in prison for years, if not decades. Wendy's quiet gloating has become a topic of conversation in its own right. She hasn't gone on record with the lengthy statement, but sources close to her say she's pleased, even feeling a bit ironic about the whole situation. After all, Diddy once had the power to ruin her career, but now it's Diddy who finds himself at the mercy of a system far bigger than his celebrity. A few times I thought I was going to pass out because it was hot on that staircase, you know what I'm saying? And when they closed the doors, I knew someone was going down. The irony isn't lost on Wendy, and it certainly isn't lost on her fans. Many have taken to social media to express their support for Wendy, pointing out how she had warned the world about Diddy long before any of these accusations came to light. It's a classic case of I told you so, but in this instance, the stakes are much higher than just a celebrity spat. Wendy's words from decades ago now carry the weight of truth as Diddy's carefully constructed empire begins to crumble around him. Puff, if they don't do a boxing one outside and get these kids off the door, somebody gonna f*** the night. He said, Gene, don't worry about that. Wendy's journey is a testament to resilience. Despite everything Diddy did to try and silence her, she emerged stronger, more determined, and with a platform even bigger than the one she lost. She's proof that you can't keep a good woman down, no matter how powerful your enemies may be. And while Wendy has had her own share of controversies and struggles, particularly in recent years, there's no denying that she's having the last laugh when it comes to Diddy. As news of Diddy's arrest continues to dominate the headlines, people are revisiting Wendy's past comments about him with fresh eyes. What once seemed like gossip now looks more like prophecy. I'm back to New York City. Wendy Williams was in Philly. <laughs> at a new station. Wendy wasn't just throwing out baseless rumors. She was pulling back the curtain on a side of Diddy that the public wasn't ready to see. And now that the truth is finally coming to light, Wendy's warnings seem all the more relevant. In the end, Wendy Williams may not have single-handedly brought Diddy down, but she certainly helped plant the seeds of doubt. Her willingness to speak out, even when it cost her everything, is a reminder that sometimes the truth takes a while to catch up. But when it does, it hits hard. And, but we've also heard that there's some secret lawsuit going on in New York City mm -hmm. as it relates to Diddy, too. And speaking of hitting hard, Diddy's fall from grace isn't just a personal victory for Wendy. It's a major moment in the world of celebrity scandals. People are starting to question just how much power figures like Diddy have wielded behind the scenes and what other secrets might still be lurking in the shadows. For Wendy, it's a bittersweet moment of validation. But for Diddy, it's the beginning of what could be a very long and painful journey through the legal system. All allegations that have become shockingly familiar against Diddy in recent months as he has faced lawsuit after lawsuit from women and men who have accused him uh, of, of all manner of, of bad behavior. With Diddy now facing the full force of the law, the spotlight is on him in a way that it never has been before. But one thing's for sure, Wendy Williams will be watching closely with a knowing smile on her face. And just when you thought things couldn't get worse for Diddy, the latest wave of allegations against him hit like a ton of bricks. The charges that were revealed when that sealed indictment was unwrapped have sent shockwaves through not just the music industry, but the entire entertainment world. As the courtroom drama unfolds, more and more people are coming forward adding their voices to the growing chorus of accusations against him. Diddy has been under criminal investigation for months by federal prosecutors here in New York. And if there are criminal charges, many of them may look a lot like what some of these individuals have been describing. So what exactly is Diddy facing now? Well, it's not pretty. These latest accusations range from severe misconduct to physical harm, with claims coming from people who say they've been wronged by him over the past several years. Just to give you a sense of the gravity of the situation, many of these accusations are linked to a pattern of behavior that paints Diddy as someone who has been able to sidestep consequences for far too long. With the feds now involved, it's clear that this is a moment of reckoning. 
Well, one of the things that's going to happen, and I do believe that there has been a grand jury investigation that has been employed in this case. I think there may be a federal investigation going on and there may be a stateside one, but I'm not totally sure. But one of the things that the prosecution in any case is going to try to do is show that there is a pattern of behavior here. The most jaw-dropping part of all this is the sheer number of people coming forward. Many of the lawsuits and public statements against Diddy have been filed in recent months, creating a growing wave of legal trouble for the once untouchable music mogul. Several of the accusations date back decades, with some victims saying they finally mustered up the courage to speak out now that the tides are turning against him. One former music producer accused Diddy of coercion and pushing him into situations he was uncomfortable with. Another individual came forward with claims that echoed similar stories from others, saying that Diddy's behavior behind closed doors was far from what his public persona would have you believe. Among the most high-profile accusations is the case brought by Cassandra Ventura, better known as Cassie, Diddy's former partner. In her lawsuit filed in 2023, she described in vivid detail the abuse she endured during their decade-long relationship. Cassie alleged that Diddy subjected her to physical and emotional torment with stories of aggressive behavior and wild demands. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. The situation got so bad that she eventually took legal action, and even though the case was settled swiftly, the damage to Diddy's reputation had been done. The speed of the settlement, just a day after the lawsuit was filed, raised eyebrows. It seemed like Diddy was eager to make it all go away as quickly as possible, but the settlement did little to quiet the rumors or the public's growing curiosity about the full extent of his behavior. And let's not forget about the leaked video that emerged just months after Cassie's lawsuit. This shocking footage, aired by CNN in May 2024, captured Diddy in an explosive argument with Cassie in a Los Angeles hotel. In the video, he's seen physically attacking her, throwing her to the ground, kicking her, and even attempting to drag her away before security intervenes. This wasn't some grainy, hard-to-see clip either. This was clear, undeniable proof of Diddy's violent behavior, caught on camera for the world to see. Combs is seen shoving, kicking, and dragging his then-girlfriend down the hallway. And now he's posted an apology on Instagram. The video caused an uproar. And while Diddy issued a public apology calling his actions disgusting, it wasn't enough to salvage his image. Initial reaction, because that's how I always feel when I see situations like this. And then there's this like this, this weird sense of grief because it is Diddy, right? Diddy is a hip hop hero. He's an ordinary person who did extraordinary things. To sit here and act like the man wasn't a huge part of our upbringing is a damn lie. So there, there's this weird sense of grief. Like another one of our heroes has ruined their legacy and it's their own fault because of poor choices. The aftermath of that video sparked even more lawsuits with more victims coming forward with their own disturbing accounts of their experiences with Diddy. What's becoming increasingly clear is that Diddy's alleged behavior wasn't limited to one person or one time period. These accusations span decades, and it's only now that the full scope of it is being revealed. For many, this feels like justice that's long overdue. Diddy has been associated with power and wealth for so long that people assumed he was untouchable, but now the walls are finally closing in. With this newest lawsuit, this would probably only expedite or increase the amount of allegations and potential witnesses who could testify against Sean Combs. But hold on, let's also remember that Wendy Williams is watching all of this unfold with sort of quiet satisfaction. This is the moment she's been waiting for, a moment that's been years in the making. Wendy has always believed that Diddy's empire was built on a shaky foundation, and she's made no secret of her belief that his public persona was just a facade. Now with the truth coming to light, Wendy's feelings of vindication are palpable. It's almost poetic how their stories have intersected over the years. Diddy, a man who once held all of the power, used his influence to destroy Wendy's career, at least temporarily. But now, as Diddy faces the very real possibility of spending years, maybe even the rest of his life entangled in legal battles, Wendy's still standing strong, and let's be real. Wendy's no stranger to controversy herself. She's been through her own battles, and she's had her fair share of personal struggles. In fact, her own life has been in the spotlight lately, not for her iconic talk show, but for a more unfortunate reason. You see, Wendy has also been dealing with some serious problems. Recently, there's been a lot of buzz about her documentary, Where is Wendy?, which caused quite the stir. The documentary was meant to shed light on Wendy's life and career, but instead, it turned into a bit of a scandal of its own. Wendy's Guardian has since come forward, saying that the documentary was produced without Wendy's proper consent. Apparently, at the time of filming, Wendy wasn't in a position to make clear decisions about her participation due to her declining health, which makes this whole situation even more heartbreaking. There has been some updates in uh, the, Dilly, the Diddy um, $100 million 
default judgment that we reported on earlier this week. According to her guardian, Wendy was exploited by the producers of the documentary, who filmed her while she was clearly unwell, all for their own profit. The documentary painted a pretty bleak picture of Wendy, showing her confused and vulnerable in several scenes, and many fans were left feeling uneasy about how it was handled. Even worse, Wendy was only paid a shockingly small amount for the project, a mere fraction of what the producers raked in. Her guardian is now fighting back, demanding that Wendy be compensated fairly and that the profits from the documentary go toward her care as she continues to face significant health challenges. And if he's allowed to go through with any of the sales, I won't be able to recoup any of my monies or anything from him as a result of any possible judgment in this action, if he's allowed to proceed with it. And a, an injunction or a restraining order would help ensure that he's not manipulating and selling the property to avoid. So while Wendy may be enjoying some satisfaction watching Diddy's downfall, she's got her own set of challenges to deal with. But if there's one thing we know about Wendy, it's that she's a fighter. She's always found a way to bounce back no matter what life throws at her, and there's no doubt that she'll continue to persevere through this latest chapter. But going back to Diddy, what's next for him? With the charges piling up and the legal system closing in, his future looks incredibly uncertain. Some legal experts have even speculated that Diddy could end up behind bars for a long time. New at 5, the legal troubles continue for Sean Diddy Combs tonight after a judge ordered the music mogul to pay $100 million to a Michigan man who says that he was sexually assaulted by Combs in 97. According to court documents, Derek Cardello-Smith says Combs drugged and then assaulted him during an after party at a Holiday Inn in Detroit. But Combs never responded to the lawsuit in court. The charges he's facing aren't the kind you can just make disappear with a quick settlement or a high-powered legal team. This time, it looks like Diddy's past is catching up with him in a way that might finally stick. There's also been a lot of buzz about how Diddy's behavior has impacted his business ventures. Remember, Diddy's not just a music producer. He's also a businessman with interests in fashion, media, and spirits, among other things. But with all these allegations swirling around, many of his business deals have started to crumble. Major companies are distancing themselves from him, and it seems like no one wants to be associated with the once revered mogul anymore. Even his longtime partners in the fashion and spirits industries have started to cut ties, leading Diddy's empire in shambles. Sued. Diddy is now being sued in addition to what we just talked about by Dawn Richards. You guys will remember her. She was a part of Making the Bend. Dirty Money. D uh, Dirty Money, mm -hmm. the Danny Kane era. So yep. basically what she is a legend, she's a legend, a lot of different things. What's even more fascinating is how Diddy's current predicament is shining a light on the darker side of the entertainment industry. For years, rumors have swirled about what really goes on behind the scenes with whispers of powerful figures using their influence to manipulate, control, and harm others. Now, with Diddy's situation coming to the forefront, more and more people are beginning to question how many other celebrities might be hiding similar skeletons in their closets. It's a reckoning for an industry that has often turned a blind eye to bad behavior, especially when it came from someone with the kind of clout that Diddy wielded. As the legal proceedings continue, it's likely that more details will come to light, and who knows what other revelations will emerge. For now, it's clear that Diddy's fall from grace is far from over. And as for Wendy, she'll be watching with a mix of satisfaction and perhaps a bit of empathy. After all, she knows what it's like to be on the receiving end of public scrutiny, though she's never faced anything quite like what Diddy is dealing with now. So what do you think? Is Diddy finally facing the consequences for his actions? Or do you believe he'll find a way to make a comeback? And how about Wendy? Do you think she'll continue to rise above her own struggles while watching Diddy's empire fall? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time 